What's going on everyone? I am Zipping Meteor and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. It's been a while since I've recorded this. I know that tends to be how it goes with me. However, I have not stopped playing this game. Not by a long shot. I play it almost every day. And I've gotten quite a bit better at it, so this may be a long video. See, I tend to use the Marine now. I think he's a little bit stronger than the pilot at the beginning. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure his gun's a little bit stronger. Destroy the book. I've also figured out something that I haven't really seen mentioned in too many posts about this game. I'll probably get to mention that once I actually see what I'm referring to. <sighs> Too focused on one hollow point, forgot about the other. It's alright. It's just the shield. take an extra key. No, not ready for that yet. Most of the level one bosses are pretty easy, but still don't want to go through with it quite yet. We are not getting very many caps. I assume that's what they are. Or shells. Shells is probably more accurate. No, I don't want any of that stuff. Nope. I may come back for that armor. Let's see. Go over here, get the health. Then continue down. Space turtle heroes from space. This minuscule weapon was once wielded by the super space turtle, a hero from beyond the stars. It is difficult for a normal human hand to wield, but can still function as a normal gun. It's a passive item. Oh. You're familiar. Okay then. I've never unlocked this item. I assume it's just extra firepower. Come on in, little turtle. I want to see what you do. Ah, they shot the water barrel. I approve of the super space turtle. Alright, what I was mentioning before. It seems like every first level, somewhere, there is a water barrel. Doesn't seem like it has much of a purpose. Unless you realize that you can roll the barrels from room to room. Oh, look, there's a second one. Oh, they're gonna destroy it. Ah. Alright, I'll explain what I was talking about here in a minute. Alright, so there is at least one water barrel in every first floor. If you don't have a weapon that shoots water, like the Super Soaker, 
you can actually roll the barrels carefully from room to room until you get here, push it into the fireplace and find the secret switch. You don't actually need a gun that shoots water to do that. You just have to find a water barrel. It's pretty simple. Time consuming, but simple. And I think the developers did that intentionally so that you could always get into that secret room if you wanted to get in there. Requires two keys once you get to that point, but... That's not too hard to get. Especially if you're trying to get there. Personally, if I intend to go into that room, I always clear out all the floors on the first floor first, including the boss, and only after I beat the boss do I ever actually go down there. Get as much gear and loot as you possibly can before you actually go into that area. Because it is a bit harder. There's a lot more toxic enemies. I shoot every single chest I find. At least once. I've encountered mimics way too often not just in this game, but in any game like this. So I don't take chances anymore. I know I can at least get away with one shot without destroying anything. Shoot him with all the bullets. need to destroy one of them. Actually, that super space turtle is a powerful little familiar. It's got a slow gunshot, but it took out the other half of this boss all on its own. I like that familiar. Thank you, Super Space Turtle. Let's see, take that, take that. The kiln fires pots. Never gotten this one. Let's see what it does. Let's see, is it a charged weapon? semi-automatic. Engineers tend to have little regard for the decorative pottery found throughout the gungeon. To help quickly replace the broken decorations, custodians commissioned this pot produced pot producing pistol. This earliest version fired the pots with too much velocity and was therefore discarded. Okay then. Switch back to my sidearm. Oh, trap room. Snipers aren't a real threat. Just keep moving. They can't hit you. Thank you, Super Space Turtle. Having that turtle around is like having a co-op partner. One that actually knows how to play the game and doesn't suck. Okay. A shrine to the prideful bullet angel now fallen. Offer a blood sacrifice. Sure. Now I'm supposedly stronger. The curse. I don't know what the curse actually does. I would imagine that the curse this time was just me losing health. Nope, nope. Okay, I avoided it with the dodge roll. Oh, a red enemy. 
don't see those very often. They take a lot more hits to kill. Another trap room with just regular bullet kin. I may need that later. Don't ever stand near an explosive barrel. I will not hesitate to use that as a weapon. All right, this is probably a gun. All right, remember that. We may need it later as well. I haven't went to the shop on this floor yet, have I? That was an easy one. Oh, that chest is gonna blow up. I can't do anything about it. Goodbye, possibly useful items. Had no key. Didn't get it. This room's still useless to me. Don't even know what it's for. I guess the only place I can go is to the shop. What do you have for sale, my good man? A key. No point in me going after the Prime Primer yet. I know where I can get two more of the items necessary, but I haven't even gotten to the last area that has the last item, so there's no point in me trying yet. I need to get better before I start wasting all my money on these items that do nothing. Unless you have all four items, they have no purpose at all. The gunpowder just takes up a an active item slot. The rest of the items take up some other less important slots, but slots nonetheless. Oh, I hate those faster shotguns. Ooh, lots of money, lots of money, lots of money. Oh, why can't the traps affect you too? Ooh, special room. This is the king? We put forth that a knave such as thee could never clear the forthcoming room without taking damage. Prove thee can, and we will reward thee handsomely. In return, give us 18 of these things. Okay. I have no problem taking on that challenge. I will shoot them with all the bullets. Challenged complete. Give me my money back. And I got a big gun. With one heck of a kickback. Okay, probably shouldn't shoot it with a semi automatic. What do we got? Charge shot, hold to fire. 
The charge shot as a weapon from distant lands. Legend says that it was once used by mutant gladiators and rocket propelled death matches to the rocket propelled death. Sounds like a quake or unreal kind of weapon. Alright, just keep going down. Actually, there's another chest down here in there. Oh, but that guy only had one key, and I already used it. C'est la vie. All the bullets. Alright. This should be the last room. Don't need help. <laughs> the ammo conda. Ooh, it's a piercing shot. That's good for this enemy. Okay. Why is there a fairy shooting at me? I've never gotten a charge shot weapon, so that's probably a side effect of that. Not exactly my best run, but still took out the Emoconda, got my shield back, got a key. What do I need to fill up? Oh, that was from this. It's not just a kiln gun. This is the whole thing's a reference to Legend of Zelda. That's why I got shot by a fairy. Plunger, that's a toxic weapon. Let's refill our bullets. And we might as well... Yeah, let's go down and get the help and open up that chest. Pink Wand Stone. Increased health. Those things always have another effect. Pink Wand Stone is actually a white wand stone that has been used as a component in blood rituals, infusing it with the hearts of fallen Gungeoneers. But it acts like a familiar too. It's got some other effect, but I don't know what it is. The descriptions tend to be really vague when it's those health items. Alright, floor three. Getting a lot of items that I've never gotten before. Alright. Another trap room, really. It's not what I wanted. We'll come back to that. see what this gun actually does. Extremely close range, but it will vaporize things in an instant.
Let's see. Let's refill the pots. Okay. Got another one. It's not a mimic. Good to know. No. No point in me going into this room. That prime primer, that's the first item. That room has a hidden railroad track to get the second item, the gunpowder. Then the third item's in the next area. It's the lead, I believe. Ooh, green light. That means there's something special in here. Have to make an offering for that to do anything. Oh. I wonder what the chances are of a fairy popping out of these pots. It seems to be a pretty good weapon, it's a piercing shot. But that had to have been where the fairy came from. It has to be a Legend of Zelda reference. all my... I don't want to use all my pots, come on. And dead. I like the charge shot. Pretty strong weapon. I really shouldn't be wasting it. Either. Attention zip. Down to one hit. I've got a lot of strong weapons, but not really anything good for close range combat. Oh, I need a key. items, but that was not one of my better runs. I've never been killed by one of those things before. Ugh. That sucked. Out of all those items, though, 
see, I got one, two, three, four, five, five new items. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. Oh, that was Enter the Gungeon. Better than my other runs. Far from my best. If you guys like this video, please give it a like. If you like any of the content that I post on this channel, consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. Thanks for watching, everyone. I am Zipping Meteor, and I'll see you next time. Later.